Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Okay, today's reaction, we are going to be uh, checking out the band Prong. <laughs> you know, if this is a really bad song, we're going to feel so bad. <laughs> this is a band uh, that are dear to my heart. I hope this is a, yes, a song that I'll enjoy. Uh, the song is Breaking Point. An official lyric video came out today, so of course we have to go check it out. Uh, before we do so, we just let you know we're at Club 85 here in Hitchin. It's a uh, great live music venue, so if you're interested in playing, contact Club 85 on the Facebook page and their websites. If you want to come watch a gig, even more importantly, come do that. There's a great uh, list of bands that are currently set up for this year, including Metal to the Masses, depending on when you see this video. Uh, let's go check out Prong and Breaking Point. definitely sound like classic prong. Yes it does, no one does the pinch harmonics better than Tommy Victor. Is it me or are the vocals kind of going like hardcore at this point? Yeah, I mean the, the early prong was just listen to the first two albums as well, a crossover band where they had it. In the 90s, it went a bit too high, didn't they? But it's, it's, it's quite aggressive again now. That is a tasty riff. <laughs> you want brief? Netherlands and Germany. Okay, so there we go, prong and a breaking point. So we're a little biased, yeah. unfortunately, on this. <laughs> we're convinced so, they're the most underrated band of all time, so we really do champion prong. If, if, if this was a bad song, we'd still be finding the good in it. So this is the hard part. So I'm going to... It sounds very much like classic prong. It's, it's not trying to do anything specifically new. Uh, but then, I, to be honest, I don't think i really wanted anything new from prong it's one of those ones and we've had this conversation we've talked about bands before about wanting them to evolve i don't want prong to evolve i i'm quite happy prong <laughs> to keep putting out albums like cleansing and revenge best cut serve cold and 
I'm quite happy for him to be that element of consistency in my life, which is prong style. <laughs> I just want them to do what they do and stick to their guns. Um, it does, one thing it does make me feel about is because they've had this consistency for years, but they've had consistent lineup changes throughout years. It really does sound like this is Tommy Victor and this is him writing the whole song. It doesn't feel like there were other people involved in the writing. I can imagine him putting this down in his home studio, recording everything himself and then him having almost session guys playing. I know that they have more consistency than that in the band, but it does feel that way when I'm listening to it. Uh, what did you think? Uh, we'll come to Andy as the new boy on the prong scene in a, at the end. Let's go over to really? Andy now, yeah, because we you can... You want to wrap it up, we, don't we? Yeah, I want to wrap it up, but um, you'll know the name, Andy, but probably never really listened to him. You're absolutely right, Kirk. Yeah, I've heard the name. Complete prong novice. Never heard any of them. I, I thought I had, but I think I'm confusing with the, another band, but I'm not going to embarrass myself by saying who I thought that was. But that was... I really enjoyed that. Um, Dave, you mentioned, you know, this classic prong. I'd, I'd imagine that, you know, I've noted down old school, you know, I can, you know, that sounds as if that was what they do, you know, from going way back. So I think they've been around a while, haven't they, this band? Yeah, I mean, the the, the first album is 1987. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's, it's definitely, it's, it's a slight variation to what they did in the nine, some of the 90s stuff when they were doing the cleansing and Rude Awakening. Rude Awakening, I mean, snap your finger, snap your neck. Uh, this has got a little bit more brutality to it. With It does remind me of their kind of earlier, early 2000s style. You went a little bit heavy, but that's where he adjusted with some of the the more modern metal styles that were coming in so, and also pushing some more of the industrial side. Yeah, Andy, what did you think of the vocals? Yeah, I really like those. I mean, you mentioned Snap Your Fingers, Snap Your Neck. I have heard that song. You know, I'm not a complete novice. I do, do recognise that one. Um, yeah, I really like the vocals. Yeah, I, I really like that that song. I'm going to ask you guys and perhaps in the comments we, uh, you know, go to album for this band because I really did enjoy that. You know, it's... Um, <laughs> I like the gang vocals. I, I, it was very, very catchy, very, very memorable song. There was the breakdown in the middle. I really did enjoy it a lot. And as for the video as well, Dave said, oh, it's a lyric video. And I thought, mm, okay. But as, as a lyric video, that is top notch, isn't it? I mean, there's... Yeah, it's good almost, storytelling it's, as well. It's almost like, you know, your standard music video with, with the lyrics imposed over the top rather than the lyrics of the song with the odd image and the odd, you know, clip of film. But as a promotional item for that song and this new album, which I assume is, is coming for this band, that was that was a brilliant piece of, of work. Yeah, really enjoyed the song. When is the new album out? Do we know? I, I don't even know if it's an album. This might just be a standalone single, you know, to support the European tour because they'll have touring plans. The last the last record they did was an EP. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. In two thousand and eighteen, and they've not done anything. But they had a great run of albums before that. You know, in the two thousand and tens. But what's because Tom because the interesting thing with Tommy is he's he's obviously doing prong his own band, but he also is touring guitar or guitarist in other bands because he's done yeah. was he Ministry? Ministry and Danzig. Yeah. Danzig, that's the one he's been doing. He, he's also got some co writing credits for Danzig and Ministry. Because he's just come back off tour from Danzig, hasn't he, if I remember right? He Probably. came back for Christmas. He did tour in with Danzig pre Christmas from the update I saw on his Instagram or Facebook mm. was photos of him coming back having to and having to learn some tracks and then he's literally <laughs> goes out with his own band out on tour so it's it's an interesting kind of balance he has so he has to learn all these other bands and play and playing in ministry you can kind of hear that when he does probably yeah. it makes a good fit for him uh do you want to do a wrap up on it from yourself yeah again i'll, I'll give the context here so I, i've actually reviewed the prong discography for screen blast repeat with tommy and we went through all the albums um just a few things to pick up on so before i enthuse about it you know, we do need to try and be looking at it critically, don't we? One thing you'll say about Prong, whatever the song title is, they are the lyrics to the chorus. A bit like ACDC. You know what the chorus is going to be just based on the title. And they do it again here. Um, you know, when, when you get classics like Beg to Differ, no prizes for guessing what the lyrics are in the chorus. Um, so that, that's one thing they've continued. Dave, you said that's classic Prong. To me, this is a band that probably transformed more than anyone in the 90s. If you think about it, they start as a hardcore crossover band. They, they land a major label deal with Sony Epic Records in 1990, put out this great thrash album, Beg to Differ, easily top five thrash album for me. And then in 93 and 94, they're the first band that really experiment with thrash and take it in 
that industrial groove direction. So you've had Ministry who've done that, and even Nine Inch Nails, but Prong were the first to really take the groove, all those pinch harmonics, real Godflesh influence. And I think they've done that with this song. They're really, it's a cross between Rude Awakening, isn't it? With a bit of those 2010 thrash elements. They did this great album, you know, you mentioned it. Um, Revenge, best served code. It's from the album Carved Into Stone. That is a real return to form for Prong. They went back to being a technical thrash band. That, on that. That's where I would say, when I talk about more the kind of classic Prong sound, I'm thinking mm -hmm. more the early 2000s area, the, like the last 20 years of yeah. Prong. Whereas I think when I talk about 90, <coughs> that's the the early 90s stuff. That's like the early Prong stuff where they were, they had a real like commerciality. Yeah, they were on a major uh, label. They were a big concern. It's, it's weird. I mean, you could see the videos for. Um, Snap your fingers and snap your neck. You got uh, oh, Victor's uh, walking around in like a suit jacket yeah. and stuff, and walking around doing like this in a warehouse. And the, the, what, what's that? So oh, what's that? Weird. The other song, whose fist is this anyway? Oh yeah, whose fist is it? So anyway? that's yeah. The, the, the lyrics. Like, the, the, how did the chorus go on that? <laughs> Guess what the lyrics are to that song. <laughs> Hey, but, you know, we wouldn't have it any other way. Tommy, if you're watching this, we, we've got to get Tommy on for an interview. You know, he is a riff lord. You can even buy T-shirts with Tommy Victor on it, and it says riff lord. Every prong album, you are guaranteed 10 colossal technical pinch harmonic infused thrash riffs I, I i again with that, I wasn't even paying attention to the lyrics in the end because I'm just listening to the, the riffs. To me, that's what I get from Prong. And I know what the chorus is going to be if I know the title of it. <laughs> well, there you go. That was our reaction to Prong and Breaking Point. Uh, we enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Now, if you like this video, please do like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon, and we will see you on our video sometime very soon. Take care.